Let's look at Elite Code question 167, the two sum part two. Now this is a really great question. It's a follow up to the original. Um, so make sure you watch that video, but essentially it's the same question, but this time the array is sorted. So it's actually gonna make use of what's known as the two pointer technique. So that's a technique you need to know. Um, and you can use and apply to many other algorithms. So let's just go through this question here. So given a uh, array of uh, numbers that are already sorted in non-decreasing order, find two such numbers that they add up to a specific target. So non-decreasing order just means it's sorted and the next number is going to be larger or equal to the previous element uh, and then it's got this return the one or two index so for some reason this question it wants you to return the index uh, it's not zero base it's going to be um, starting at one so if you return the zeroth element that's going to refer to index one so it's guaranteed that there's exactly one solution and like the previous question, you may not use the same element twice. And if we consider, oh, and also your solution must use only uh, constant extra space. So that means our space complexity needs to be constant or O of one. So to be able to do this, Let's look at the example. We've got the target 9, and then 2 plus 7 is 9. So rather than returning 0 and 1, we return 1 and 2 there, just because we add 1 to the increment, just because that's what the question wants. Example 2, 2 plus 4, that's going to equal this target 6, and then we return 1 and 3 there. And it's, you know, we're expecting just one solution. To be able to solve this question with constant space complexity, we're going to need to learn about the two pointers technique. And as mentioned, this is a technique that we can apply to many algorithms. So let's start by creating an array. So let's say we have an array with the elements one, two, three, four, um, and nine. So, and let's say that we want to reach a target of seven. So we'll just say T equals seven. We'll put that in the top right, just to remind us of what we're looking for here. We need to do this in constant space and we need to do this in O of N time. So we need to loop through, we can only loop through things once. Um, so how we can achieve that the addition of the two to reach the target is using what's known as the two pointers technique so we have a pointer at the beginning of the array and we're going to call that l because that's going to represent our left pointer and then which is going to be of zero index and then we're going to have a pointer R. So we're just assigning a variable um, and equal to the length of the array, which is um, five. So the index will be four. And essentially what we can do is we can just move either the left or the right index uh, across one. So we can reassign our pointer um, such that we can get the corresponding number as needed. And the benefit of doing it like this is we only need to loop through the list at most once um, rather than because we're keeping track of things with this two pointer approach rather than uh, the intuitive approach, which may be to have that nested loop there. So we're trying to reach the target of seven. And right now our left index is on zero, which is one. And then our right index is on index four, which is nine. So because we have 
the addition of one and nine equaling 10. So there's only two things that can occur. If you wanna make it smaller, you move the right pointer left. And if you wanna make it bigger, you move the left pointer right. Because it's sorted, the numbers are sorted. So the next number, if you move the left pointer to the right, is guaranteed to be bigger. So if right now things equal 10, uh, we want a target of seven, so we want to make things smaller. So we actually want to move the right pointer, left one. So it's possible that you might get a duplicated element or something like that. Um, but in any case, we'll just continue moving the pointers over until you get the desired outcome. So let's just write these steps out. So 10 is greater than seven. And since our target is greater, or our two numbers that our left and right pointers are pointing towards is greater than our target, we need to move the right pointer left one. So we move that right pointer to the left one. And then what we've got is one plus four so one plus four is five and that's less than seven so this time it's less than seven so we need to move the other pointer to the right one so right now we're pointing at the elements one with the index one and three uh which corresponds to the numbers two and four so we've got the number six which is less than seven. So since it's once again, less than the target, what we need to do is we need to move the left pointer over one to, in efforts to make the uh, addition of those two larger. And we're guaranteed a solution. Um, so we got three plus four here, and that equals to our seven here. Now, it's important that the left pointer doesn't go past the right pointer. And the reason that's important is because, well, we're guaranteed a solution, so we're going to get a result back. So let's just see that in the code. So let's start off by defining our index of our left pointer. And we know that's going to be, we'll call it L, and we'll know that's going to be at the first spot, so we'll just say the zeroth index. And then we're going to return, let r equal the length of the numbers, subtract one. So that way we've got the left pointer at the beginning of the numbers and then the right point at the right. So this is where we got that while loop. And essentially we want to, while the left pointer is less than the right pointer, because if the left, pointer equals the right pointer um, or the left point right point is bigger than the left pointer it means we've got the um, we've already considered those numbers on the other side so there's no reason to go there plus we're guaranteed a solution here so the left pointer should never go past the right pointer um, so basically we can calculate the sum and that's just going to be the um, number that the L uh, index is pointing towards um, plus the number that the R index in the numbers array will point towards. So basically there's three cases. So the first case is if the sum equals the target. And if the sum equals the target, we just go ahead and we'll return um, the left point and the right point of the index. Uh, but this question, it wants, uh, it's based at one rather than zero. So we just add on one to the L and to the R there. Um, so that's if the sum is equal to the target, um, but the sum could be less than the target. So we consider this else if block here. And if the sum is less than the target, it means we need to increment the left pointer, because if the sum's less than the target, we need to make the sum bigger. And that means our sorted array needs to um, return, one of the elements needs to be a bigger number. 
And to do that, we make the left number bigger. So we increment the array uh, or the index. Um, and otherwise, if the number's not equal and the number's not less than, the number must be greater than. So if the number is greater than the target, we need to make it smaller. And we can do that by moving the right pointer uh, down one slot because that will correspond to a smaller number in the sorted array. And basically we've got this while loop here. So this will just keep running until, um, you know, until either the sum equals the target, which it should, but we just have this return LR just for TypeScript's sake. Um, so just looking at that though, um, we just run that. So that's all well and good. Uh, if we think about the time complexity, um, the time complexity is going to be O of N because we do need to loop through um, each, uh, well, we got a pointer and we need to, you know, access each of the elements. It could be that we return earlier, but it could be uh, worst case scenario, which we need to consider for O of big O notation. So we need to go through all of them in the worst case scenario. So that's O of N. Uh, the space complexity, as the question suggests, is going to be O of 1. Uh, and it's O of 1 because we, while we're looping through things, we didn't need to append to an array or anything like that. We've just got a couple of, um, you know, we've got the sum equals and the left pointer and the right pointer. So we just got those three values there. Uh, and then O of 3, of course, you know, we only considered the significant terms. So that's going to be uh, O of 1. So this is the two pointer technique. Um, and it's really handy. It's going to be handy. It's going to come in handy for the three sum problem that we're going to solve next. So we'll just go ahead and submit this code here. Okay, so all's well and good. And um, we're going to need to use this two pointer technique alongside with the approach we learned in the first two sum questions. So make sure you watch the previous video as well. Uh, and then we'll jump into the three sum question next.